Welcome with us, folks. Welcome to all new viewers. Um, please hit the subscribe or hit the like button. It's not asking for much, but it means a lot for us. Um, I mean, if you are a new viewer, um, make sure to have a look at previous videos that we have posted because a lot of information that will be given tonight has been covered before and something will be repeated and some sometimes I take for granted that a few uh, some of the information that I provide has been covered before. So basically I like to keep it simple. I really appreciate all your comments. I like to simplify things. Even um, comments that are negative, I really try to build from that. If you you know all I build on critics and I don't pretend to know it all. I don't pretend to have the only and uh, safe, the only safe and uh, rewarding solution. I just like to show and share things that a lot of other traders are looking are looking at. So this gives you the edge. This will give you the edge for um, anticipation, looking at what our traders are looking, and maybe this will provide you information on um, on your next move. So when you're looking at this here, this is the spy chart just before the open this morning. Um, it was already extended to the oversold. Uh, category and if you look at what happened right at the bell we started tanking and this is where I want to tank uh, I want to take you this was support this is support exactly at the gate and support from pre-market and then we flushed right after um, after the bell I called in chat saying that 422 75 was a line to look for and I want to show you why I took that line and where I found it what you need to look for is two things are we going to tank further in my opinion we were pretty much there because there as in we're not going any further so this is the RSI um, this bit here, if you, my cursor is pretty small, but this is the bit that we were looking at. But this is the five minute. Let me take you to the one hour chart. One hour is even more dramatic because this here we were in the teens, right? On the RSI, which was pretty pretty low when we when we started going down, so I was looking at a bounce on spy this morning. So let me take you on why I decided that the 422.75 is going to be a good line to to catch. Um, this is the spy chart, right? Look at what happened. Here we got right a top here, top there, oh, top here, top here, top here, same top, and then we broke. But this line appears to me that it's pretty tough to break, right? So what you do is this. You put a line on where you see resistance this was resistance here right this is the arrow where i put resistance and then this is resistance again then we traded pretty flat broke it and then we ended up going higher however twice and for a while we had volume that rejected the line and rejected to go further. So you know that when this is going to hit, it was hitting it on the way up. What happens when it comes down is going to be used as support. And let's get back to this very same line. This is what happened when we came down to this line here. So basically, I was expecting the whole thing to bounce 
on where on the line I just showed you, which was 4274, 75, very close to it. And I decided to go on with the 424 calls for this week. Why not this week for today? So why 424? 424, I believe we could get in the money. If you have watched videos before, my intention was even a little lower than that, but you know, my intention was to reclaim this support and now it would, it would become resistance, right? So I would go for this line and reclaim back to old resistance. We never made it that, all, that far. And if it's same day expiration, you do not have the luxury to wait and see if you're going to get there. No, you have to take profit before that. Now, when I took the 424, I believed 424 would be in the money in a matter of time in a very short period. However, I found that it, they were 128, which is pretty expensive because in order for it to close green, it means 425, 28 at expiration. We are $3 or so, you know, two and a half dollars under that. So I thought they were pretty expensive, expensive for the, for the, um, the amount of time left on the day. So I decided to go on 424, even if they were a little expensive. And if you saw, let me, let me blow this up for you. So I'll show you exactly what made me decide to get out. Basically, it tried. This here, if you look at this, it tried and it rejected it. And this line, right, is where I decided to get out. It's at 1045. As soon as we broke it, I decided to get out. So basically, we got in at 128 and we sold for 169. It ain't much, but it's green. And I was happy about it. Um, and the other trade, same thing, same day, same idea. We broke under the 422.75 down to 422. So you know now that this 422 line becomes your support. 422 here. Or 2197, call it whatever you want. 4219197. It came very close to it. And then, you know, see how many times it tried here. You know, it tried to get up. Nope, 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 nope. And then it started going up. Nope again. A little dip under, and then nope, nope, nope again. So you know that this, this is pretty strong now. It's not getting down any further. So I decided to, I'll blow this up a little bit. I believe it was um, around here, two, 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 uh, 245 in the afternoon. I rejected here and when it came here, as soon as I saw this one, I placed my order. We were right on here and I mean, this was a quick one and I advised it was going to be a quick pump. I decided to be in the money. Oh, okay. Why? We are at 422 at this line, 422, but I decided to go 421 calls. So it's already in the money. It has a value. If we were to close right here, right now, it has a value of a dollar because we're 422 and we paid a dollar 50. So basically we're paying 50 cents for an hour and a quarter that we have left until expiration, an hour and a half if you count the after hours that is open on spot. So basically that 50 cents, I'm hoping that we are going to bounce at least to this height, right? Because it goes this high down to 422, such high again and again. I thought it would do the same thing or pretty much, but I decided to stop to secure some profit on at 185, which was basically we had this. If you look at the next candle, it went down and up again, but 
if you had waited, you would have gone red at this point in just one candle. So I decided to take that profit, which wasn't much, but still we're building on something here, right? Obviously, if you had waited for the end, um, it was well in the money, you know, at, at the uh, at the closing bell at 425. So basically it's um, $4.00 four dollars in the money so basically you pay one one fifty and you could have sold for four dollars however it's a much riskier play to wait it all out because it could have gone all the way down as well with no result at all so the idea is to build slowly and surely but the idea the idea behind this this video is to show you that um two things First, when it tanks, right? Where to look for um, for support? Look back at previous support uh, or resistance areas that have been strong. The other thing, so look. Sorry, let me write on this. Look for old support. In this case, it was old resistance. And that becomes support. This was not that long ago, but it was quite a, uh, quite a strong one. The other thing to look for is what I like is look at RSI and stochastic momentum index. If we look together here on the one hour chart, you will see that this is the stochastic here. We're below the 50 and here we're below 20. So it needs to rebalance. I mean, it can't go to minus on the RSI. It needs to rebalance, which it did at the end of the day. But we're not here. We're not mid-pack think you know we're not here mid-pack thinking we could it looks like it could do something well this is i call this mid-pack because it's really like a gamble but when it's down and this kind of thing uh it needs to rebalance before something happens so this was the other thing that you you um you'd learn from uh from this video and the other thing is to profit early because same day expiration can be nasty. And you all saw that in this pick at the bottom here, I played in the money already. Yes, the reward is much lower. However, so is the risk. So basically what we're looking at is to end up your day with more money than what you had when you started your day. So it's not how you can double or triple the amount of money you had in the morning. No, it's having more money than you had in the morning. If that is the case, well, we're all happy. So, um, like I said, small is beautiful in this particular case because it's very risky. And what we try to do is book money early. So to all new viewers, we have covered many of these situations in different types, different um, videos before. And um, you will probably see that a lot of things that have been repeated in this video will be repeated in the previous, well, will be rep repeated again in, in the next videos and have been repeated in videos that we have shown you before. So. I hope you guys are learning a few things on how to look for bottom picks, um, look for support, looking back at previous days and looking for a uh, strike that will get you a safer play and knowing when to exit with, you know, 20, 25, 30%. It's all good. Everyone's happy. So I hope you guys are learning. Take care, folks. See, see you soon.